Hi, I'm Faye. Welcome to my 660 square foot treehouse in Silver Lake, California. Come on in! This is the kitchen. I would describe my style as color, 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 um, warm, cozy. I like to feel very taken care of and I like dark colored walls. I also feel like my style is very imperfect and changing and not one thing. My favorite part of the kitchen is the pegboard. They were very, very inexpensive and I had a great handyman put them up because I could have done it myself but it would have taken about a year and it took him three hours. My proudest DIY is twofold. It's all in the kitchen. The spray painting of the pegboard baskets was very, very easy to do, <laughs> so I'm not that proud of it, but I am proud of the action I took to go to the store, choose the paint color, and actually get something done. And I'm also proud of the action I took to actually call my handyman friend and have him come over and install the pegboard because I feel like, you know, all that stuff gets in our head about being difficult and there's so many steps to take and then we don't take any step. And also there's shame involved in having someone else do something for you and spending money on help as opposed to just spending money on what we consider the project to be. So I'm proud that I broke through those fears and actually asked for help and paid for it. Would you like a rotting banana? No? Okay. I'm going to throw these out, actually. <laughs> so I like to store things where they quote unquote don't belong. I like to use storage for whatever I want. So one of these kitchen cabinets is where I store my sheet music binders. The logic behind storing things where you want is just that. There's no right or wrong place to store anything. So the sheet music fit perfectly in that cabinet and not near my piano, so I decided to use this. And these are not often used pieces of sheet music, so I didn't need them to be right next to the piano. And because there's, because it's a small space, it's pretty easy for me to walk over here and get the ones I need. And here we have the all-important key bowl. Also, very easy drop-off of important materials that one does not want to lose. So functional things that work for me small trays, like small trays in the bathroom, the, the key bowl when you walk in, really small defined areas that you've created for yourself that are for specific things that sort of make your day easier. They're sort of these like drop areas for all the different parts of life. So helping yourself out with those kinds of tools. That's where containers and products can really help you when they serve a purpose like that. So all the papers that are usually spread out here have a home. And two of those homes are my wall files over here. These wall files were actually made by my good friend Beth Penn, and I like to use to do and to file. I call them middlemen, and they're those sort of temporary areas for your papers to live before either taking action on them or storing them in a final resting place, like a file that you have to keep the paper, or before you would scan them and then get rid of the paper. Middleman wall files. This is a music stand. Also something I keep out, similar to the yoga mat, I think it's really important to be able to access what you need and what you might procrastinate on uh, as soon as you need it. So music and creativity are some of those things that I like to keep out in the open. Not only does it feel inspiring and you know look inspiring, like the ukulele hanging on the wall, it also means I'm actually going to do it. This is your one minute on apartment therapy. This is your one minute on apartment therapy. That's all I got. So I like to just use random spaces as bulletin boards and so I also use my bathroom door to put ideas onto post-its and then I can move them around whether they're
share creative ideas or you know, conceptual ideas for career stuff or reminders. They're also really easy to take off if people come over. So I'm gonna take them off because people are over. <laughs> all the post-its out the door. Is this like wearing the band t-shirt to the show of the band? Maybe. But it's really here. It's really what I am displaying in my life right now, because it's awesome. To me, being organized not only means being able to find what you need when you need it, which is sort of the standard definition, but to me, being organized and happy and content means allowing yourself to be imperfect. It means, you know, a little better being a little better and not feeling like it's this all or nothing huge mountain to climb. I do many things here. I live here. I work here. I write music and books here. I, what else do I do here? I eat here. I sleep here. I guess that's part of living here. Uh, I use it as a creative space and a workspace and a living space and, and I'm glad that you're here. <laughs>